So, hi everybody. Uh, here's a short video on how I set up the neural net for uh, predicting EuroUSD using 30-minute bars. Um, so I've imported data from uh, last week, actually the data ending on June 25th, um, 2021, and set this to time, and there are 10,000 100 bars in this data set, and that's about 10 months, 10 months worth of 30 minute bars. Um, let me right click and zoom in here. So, um, let me take you through it. So, you click Neuronet, and using a relative P, a relative price oscillator, an RPO that I set up to one really smooth 100. 200, 400 moving average, exponential moving average. Click try, then OK. And now we need the criteria, so click this first button. And then click astronomical cycles. And uh, since I've been working with moon and sun pretty exclusively uh, with the euro. It's been uh, pretty accurate. So over on geo, moon and sun, click this first little button here, okay, and then say okay. Um, and then you can see the data, uh, the inputs are loaded in here. Um, so say okay, and click training. Now on its first sort of round of training, it's this 387 number includes all the planets as well, and so it's going to find the 37 roughly every 10 degrees of moon and sun angles, um, uh, and put that in the clipboard, and then train with that. So on this first go round, that's what it's working on. <clears throat> There's the 37. So now we're uh, training, and uh, I'm going to train it to one epoch, um, not to overtrain it. Uh, that's something you can experiment with. Um, so an epoch is um, taking all 37 inputs and calculating each one over each of the 10,110 bars. Uh, so that's quite a bit of calculation. So let me pause it here for a second. Okay, uh, so I'm at one point plus. I'm going to hit stop. And I also smoothed uh, the projection line here, which I haven't been doing, but I think it's, it's, it's useful to simplify things. So I uh, put a value of 20 in here. Um, and we're looking at um, the default 5 for the sample size over here. Okay, so click main window, and up here enable the results panel, and then minimize this, and click this blue button. Great. So, um, here's what's the results. Of, um, showing uh, 9.55, 10 o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock on a Wednesday as the bottom, with a down movement and then an up movement here. Um, so let's take a look at the actual chart. And this is a little bit early, isn't it? So. Let's take a look at that. <clears throat> so what I just did was put the smoothing back to zero, um, which is default, um, and ended up with this square wave. Um, and I've noticed in general that uh, when it bounces up like this at this point, that's a good, most of the time, is a good place for a change in trend. So let's take a, a look at that again. Um, 1800, 1830, Wednesday, and 
There it is, right here, uh, right down at the very bottom here. So uh, let's just move that in. Notice that there were one, two, three, essentially, bottoms in this um, price data before um, price started turning around for Friday again. Uh, here's another jump over here. Uh, so that's 15.30 on Thursday. Take a peek at that. Uh, nope, I wouldn't use that. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, so anyway, play with this, experiment, find the settings that work for you, be consistent with how many bars you're training um, to try to eliminate as many variables as possible. Um, email me if you have any questions, and good luck.